how long is too long to live? Increasing human lifespan could turn people into walking zombies. So we already know that our lifespan has increased uh, what well, about double, actually. It was 40 years old. You were old age back in the day. And, uh, and we're talking about 100, 200 years ago. Way back in the day, in the Bible days, they said 900 was, you know, you're a young buck. But now, 80, 90, 100. It says incre- increasing human lifespan risk turning huge numbers of people into walking zombies because experts are not close to solving the problem of dementia and brain cell loss. A leading scientist has warned. Labs across the world are trying to tackle the causes of aging and have recently made important breakthroughs in understanding why cells grow old and die and how to stop the process. Likewise, improvements in treating diseases like cancer and advances in vaccination and nutrition mean populations are living longer than ever. The oldest person to have ever lived, Jean Calment, died at the age of 122. And scientists now think that 120 is around the maximum age humans could live to unless they embarked on a hugely restrictive diet which could push the window to 180. Imagine that, 180. I think my body's already screwed. Um, You would have to do that from like childhood. Um, Why do we age? The short answer is we just don't know. We told a symposium at the Francis Clerk Institute in London, there are more than 30 theories about why humans age. It's probably a patchwork of different problems. If there was a world where we were vaccinated and free of the disease, would we live forever? Absolutely not. It is likely that the biological clock, which sets human life around 120, and we are programmed not to live longer than that. But the probability of undergoing dementia is increasing with the passing of age. So basically, and especially with all of the stuff sprayed into our air, with all of the uh, aluminum and everything that's going up our nose and causing early dementia and Alzheimer's, they could replace your heart seven times. They can now replace your arms, even your face if you get your face torn off. But they can't replace your brain. So really... Why would you want to live that long if you didn't know who the people around you are? I personally wouldn't, but that's just me.